Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4381 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 16 moves to clear out 43 jelly and 45 toffee swirls. This is a special dedication to Sarah, who has let me know that she's been stuck on this for a bit. So we're going to see what we can do to find some sort of strategies that can help. If you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. So it looks like the toffee is going to be problematic, but every turn that I take, hopefully some will drop until it overflows and comes to here and then comes down to here, which will make getting the jelly here harder to do, but I'm hopeful. And then we also have these dispensers here, these striped and wrapped. I think the key is going to be maybe not getting a striped wrapped combo, but maybe getting a wrapped wrapped combo. We're going to have to find out how these operate. So it's going to take some experimentation, which is a shame because I have a really good opportunity to make a color bomb right away. Usually I want to then, you know, work my hardest to make sure I can beat the level. But here I have to experiment. So here we have a toffee on this side, but not on this side yet. So we wait. Oh, keeps coming out over here. I'm breaking through these candy curls. Oh, stink. Toffee's already sliding down this side. Yeah, Sarah, I can see what this problem is. And I forgot to pay attention to how often these guys are showing up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to take out this licorice. Now here's the deal. When I take out licorice on a turn, no new licorice can form. But when I don't take out licorice, new stuff can show up. And sometimes if I take it out remotely, like I'm going to do here, uh, it doesn't register it. Sometimes there's a one or a two turn delay. So it looks like these are being fairly generous. Once the, the flow of special star they keep coming out that's nice let's see if we can put a couple things together here I'm working so hard on trying to get this combo oh my goodness oh my goodness i'm so surprised that didn't just fail on me miserably but i only have four moves left let's see how far we can get with these four moves Yeah, see, look at that. The toffee has lined up here, and so it's going to be super tough to get through to reach that jelly. But color bomb wrapped combos, that can help, and also those wrapped wrapped combos. I think what I'm going to do here is just take out a blue right away. It's going to help here. It's going to set this off. Uh, it's going to take out a color which will concentrate things down and hopefully give us a better chance of getting some of those combos. Well, we got a raft here, but I don't see how to pair it up. I can work directly in this way, but look at how quickly these show up. So when I can work in here, I will. And sometimes what we can do is we can move those toffee out of the way. And I think that's what's going to be required. So I ended up with still needing six jelly and 13 toffee. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording, go back and read Sarah's comments now that I've seen the board so her comments will make more sense to me. And then uh, play this through again. I'll start with the new board. I'll have the microphone still on and we'll see if uh, we can um, address Sarah's specific concerns. I'll be right back. Okay, so yes, Sarah's concerns are mine and it is the jelly. So uh, let's do this. Since we know this is the area that has the most problems, let's focus on this side of the board and see if that can help us. So I'm going to try to break through as quickly as possible so I can maybe try to get to that jelly before bad, bad things happen. Oh, great. Now look what's happening. It's coming over on this side of the board. Just when you think you got it figured out. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so that's additional information I didn't have before. It can 
fill in either side, but look at how quickly we're attacking this and we're using the force of some of those specials to help out. Now on a board like this, it is very easy to take any move because there's so many good moves. We can create so much when there are only four colors on the board, but it would be best if we could slow down and take the very best moves. I do think in this case, I wanna go ahead and make this wrapped candy. It's pretty far away from the action, but I need a bit of chaos here to help me out. So I'm going to do this. We took, took out that licorice, that's good. I'd like to float this wrapped candy down here. If we can get wrapped candies down into this area, that would be good. Notice also on this one that we've got candy here populating this. So breaking through these candy curls I think is crucial. Because now instead of this filling in with toffee, it's filling in mostly with candy and the toffee is separated from it. So there's something we learned. Okay, going to keep trying to bring things through. I do still need to collect those toffee. I do still need to keep the licorice at bay. But I also want to figure out how to use these specials to help out. Look at how these... Um, Wrapped candies are sometimes like sliding down over to this side. That looks good. Oh, some of these are coming through. All right, gonna make this wrapped candy. I like that option. I could make this wrapped candy, but I could bring this wrapped candy down instead with that move. At this point in time, if I could figure out how to get a color bomb and do a color bomb combo, I think that would give me a lot of power. But remember, another part of our job is to collect a lot of these, and I haven't been doing a spectacular job with that. Let's blow everything up and go for a lot of chaos here. We want to set this off to help clear this out. There's my color bomb. <gasps> There's another color bomb, but I need three turns to enact that, and I have two turns. Because I would need to make this, and then put them together, and then set things off. That doesn't work for me. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all green from the board. It's going to remove this. It's going to remove these guys. It's going to hit a few things. And it's going to, again, concentrate the colors down. Sad because, ah, oh, so close, right? But at least I feel like we've learned quite a bit. And I really thought, because we started out so well last time, that there was no way I was going to get close to the numbers I had uh, as far as what I needed to clear. And I did. So I know I'm on the right path. Open up the candy curls as quickly as possible. Try to get regular candies down here before the toffee can invade. It's not always going to be possible, but uh, knowing that and using that as our goal is going to help us because if it is possible, we'll know to be watching for that. I'm going to pause the recording now and come back without the microphone, but I will bring it back on when I have something important to share and hopefully it'll be a win soon. See you in just a bit.
This might be that break we were looking for because we have a lot of orange in some key positions here uh, to help not only with clearing things out, but also with this uh, problem of collecting these toffee. So really that color bomb combo is what we're going to need. Plus we're still, we have cleanup to do. We've got a couple of moves to do some cleanup, but when we make this kind of crazy move, then we usually get some pretty good stuff out of it. I can make another color bomb. I'm not going to. I already have two color bombs on the board. I need to use those color bombs. Instead of making more specials, I need to use what I have, and I need to use it wisely. I've got to get rid of five of the toffee. There are seven on the board, so I don't have to get rid of all of them, which is good. Uh, two, four, six, eight. There are eight on the board because these are in a, a precarious position here for me. Um, I've got two jelly. So let's take a look. We've got, if I take out, let's say I take out blue. I have one next to a toffee. That doesn't seem like a good choice. If I take out orange, I've got one next to this and one next to this. So that's two, then that's three. That looks like a pretty good choice. Um, plus, of course, you know, hopefully we would get some, some extra lift from all of that. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking three at least. Uh, if I take out green, I've got one, two, three here, plus this is gone. And then this blows up. So if I were to take out green, I would want to do it with this color bomb instead of this color bomb because I may need this color bomb and I'm hoping to preserve it. Although sometimes that can be nice. You take out one color and then um, it's an efficiency of moves that the next color bomb is taken out without interference. But I still think it's wise to hold on to that. So I'm going to do green. I like green the best here. Now I still have this, but hopefully there we go. That got taken care of before uh, any toffee could drop into it. So that's how I beat this really, really key to break through those candy curls. And then, of course, getting some combos is helpful. But remember, you've only got, I know there are six colors showing now, you've only got four colors on that board and you've got dispensers. So making those combos becomes easier, especially when we open up the board. When we take out those candy curls, it does two things. It gives us access to those lower portions uh, so we can put candy in there instead of the toffee, but then also it gives us more space to make some of those combos. That is it for me. It took me between 10 and 15 tries. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.